Article number eight. Move that the town transfer from capital stabilization $115,400 to purchase and install doors for the school department, a thermal imager for the fire department, breathing apparatus for the fire department and associated costs. Is there a motion? I thought I said doors for the school. If I didn't, please make sure that, I'll read it again just in case. Move that the town transfer from the stable, capital stabilization account $115,400 to purchase and install doors for the school department, a thermal imager, breathing apparatus for the fire department and associated costs. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Selectman, I'm sorry, uh, the finance committee has supported this three to zero. The select board recommends three, four, one, again, one abstention, and the capital planning committee uh, recommends four to zero. Selectman West. Uh, as chair of the capital planning committee, we met and we identified um, these three items. To, uh, to expend our capital funds on at this time. Um, the school department, within their budget, brought a request to replace some doors uh, in the amount of $40,000. And through the budget process, uh, it was the goal of the select board and the finance committee in order to lower the 800 and some odd thousand dollar shortfall, we removed a lot of the capital items out of operating budgets and shifted them to the capital uh, committee. So that $40,000 was originally in the school department's operating budget. We removed it and, and put it here uh, to use capital funds. Um, the fire department requested a thermal imager uh, for the amount of $6,400. And the fire department also has requests uh, to a total of $69,000 uh, for masks and breathing apparatus and associated costs. Um, I see many members of the fire department here. They can obviously go into specifics more than myself, but I've heard it enough times um, from Mike Spangnable and other members of the fire department. Currently our equipment, there is multiple versions. Uh, each member does not have a fitted mask and it really becomes a, a health safety issue for our firefighters when they're on the scene of a fire if their masks and breathing apparatuses aren't uniform. So it was the intent of the fire department, number one, because this was in their operating budget also, uh, and everybody else on the select board to upgrade these and standardize them. So now each firefighter will have a mask that is custom fitted for that that individual. Um, obviously a thermal imager is critical when you're within a fire. Um, so that was, we, we saw that as a life safety issue for the fire department and we agree, uh, we recommend that. Just for your information, moving forward on a yearly basis, there will be an amount of money roughly under $5,000 to continue to upgrade these breathing apparatuses so we shouldn't in the future have a large amount of money being spent on that. Thank you. Any further discussion? Mr. Moyer? Yeah, uh, George Moyarty, uh, Deputy Chief Hadley Fire. I just want to explain a little bit on the uh, well, any of the questions, but the breathing apparatus, uh, he's basically right. We have probably three to four different versions. And as they design new versions about every five years, and FPA requires changes. Right now, on our electronics, that basically is a wireless connection to our, our face masks, we're, we're about to go to three different versions and none of them talk to each other. So if, if a mask doesn't get set with the proper pack, then it doesn't work and it's, it's basically useless. So what we've done with our uh, suppliers is he was able to update a few of them 
Uh, the, the, our newer ones we were able to update. Our newest ones were, were fine. Uh, generation back, he was able to update them, but we have some that were uh, 1998, which were unable to be updated in any way. So this is where most of this money uh, is going. I think it's buying five or six new packs that will all talk to each other when, they're, when you're using them. Uh, and you don't have to have a specific mask. As we try to get masks, uh, personal masks to each firefighter, we couldn't do that because we had three different sets of air packs. So that's where we stand there. Uh, the thermal imager, uh, just quick, we the association purchased a thermal imager through some of our fundraising. Uh, part of our problem is we run out of two stations. Uh, we have three trucks. Um, so we really need to get a, a, another thermal imager in, in, in North Hadley. And that's where that, that is. Uh, well, I don't know if you have any, any questions on that. Thank you. Andy Morris Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. How much money is in the Capital Stabilization Fund and what's the yearly contribution? In the Capital Stabilization uh, Fund, not counting the money that we're about to extend tonight, there's $373,654. Uh, we, in the fall, we replenished this capital stabilization by an amount equal to the meals tax that you bring in. Uh, you bring in somewhere in the neighborhood of $240,000 annually. Uh, so uh, there's $3 million worth of product being sold in your restaurants every single month, and that generates $244,000 for you annually. Just a point of order, Mr. Moderator. Would you please read it again so that we get the full amount of 141900 Because it was first read, I heard 115. I want to make sure we have sufficient funds to The management the trailer has been removed from the... Um, that's where the... Problem, that's where yeah. the difference is on the number. Okay, so you we are voting tonight for 115000 115400 is completely correct. Thank you. Further discussion? This is a two-thirds vote as well. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? It's a unanimous, thank you.